Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We are going to be starting at the border of Westmoreland and Hanover. We are heading towards Savannah Lamar. So, continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, we got this from last night. So, let's hope that by now, this teenager is gone back home. That teenager on your screen, her name is Shame Winda. She is 17 years old and she's a student. She's living at Bottom Pen in Glendevan in the parish of St. James. She has been reported missing at the Montego Bay Hills Police Station in the parish of St. James. Yesterday afternoon, Saturday, August 6, 2022, by her mother. Her mother, she reported that she was last seen on Friday afternoon, Friday, August 5, 2022, about 3.30 at her home in Bottom Pen. She has not been seen are heard from since now shame she's of a slim built black complexion and about five feet six inches tall and when last seen she was wearing a pink blouse sharp blue jean skirt and a pair of clear slippers she also had a brown handbag she had a what but wait there no sir <laughs> i'm not missing she missing she gone somewhere where she don't want her mother to know eh Anyhow, it is reported that she frequents downtown Montego Bay and Clark's Drive in the parish of St. James. If you have seen her or you have any information where she is, please contact the Montego Hills Police Station at 876-952-8826 or 119. Now, shame. If you're not gone back home as yet, your mother, she is worried sick about you. Your mother care for you and she know the danger that awaits you out of road. Like me always tell young girls your age, more someone is out of road than sweetness. You have a whole life ahead of you and one bad joke. Yeah man, you know what I'm talking about you know. One bad joke can spoil everything. Now, this one, it took place early this morning. Sunday, August 7th, 2022, about 3 o'clock. It took place right in the vicinity of the Wilshire Beach at Greenwood, Wilshire, in the Falmouth Police area in the parish of Trelawney. We are learning that a man, his name is Vince Walker, and he is 20 years old. He was driving a grey Mazda Demio motor car. He was traveling from Falmouth direction towards Montego Bay direction. We are told that Two other men and a lady were also in the car. One of the men, his name is Maurice Thomas and he was 24 years old. He lived at 41 Rosites in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. The other man, we are told that he is known as Tajay and he is about 21 or 22 years old. The female, her name is Sherry Lee Payne and she was 31 years old and she was a hairdresser. She lived at Lilliput in the parish of St. James. We are told that this car, like we told you, it was traveling from Falmouth direction towards Montego Bay direction. On reaching a section of the road, we are told that the driver of the Mazda Demio, somehow he ended up losing control of the car. As a result, the car collided into the front of a green 2004 Hino truck. This truck, it was parked on the left hand soft shoulder of the road. As a result of this collision, both vehicles, they were extensively damaged. All the occupants in the car, they were seriously injured. Maurice Thomas and Sherry Lee Payne, they ended up dying on the spot. Whilst the driver, Vince, and the other passenger, Tajay, they were taken to the Falmouth Hospital, where they were admitted in a stable condition. Now, what we are learning is that the truck, it was parked there from earlier in the night. Some persons, they are complaining that this accident, it was caused because the truck didn't have on any reflector or anything like that on it. What we must appreciate is that this truck, 
it was parked on the soft shoulder of the main road. And the question is, the question is, why is it other vehicles didn't collide in the truck? Look into it. It is clear that the driver for the Mazda Demio was speeding based on the extent of the damage. We are told that they were coming from a party. It is really sad. Really, really sad. And we'd like to say condolences to the family and friends of the persons who died. And let's hope that the two persons who are in hospital, let's hope that they pull through. And we are expecting that this 20-year-old driver, he will be charged for causing death by dangerous driving. Sad indeed. Now, this incident, it took place from last week Sunday. But we were just made aware of it last night. You know, sometimes, you know, some incidents take place and persons say, you know, make no sense me call the police because nothing now go come out of it. That is not true. Whenever any incident take place, try and report it to the police. Hear this now. Last week Sunday morning, July 31, 2022, about 11 o'clock, a supermarket on Orange Street in Montego Bay was opened. This supermarket, it is operated by some Chinese nationals. We are told that some customers and staff were in the supermarket when three hoodlums entered. One of them was armed with a gun. We are told that the cashier in the supermarket was held up at gunpoint. We are also told that the hoodlums, they proceeded to rob over 100,000 Jamaican dollars from the cashier till. They also went into an office where they stole several cartons of cigarettes. The hoodlums, they then exited the supermarket and escaped in a waiting sky blue Toyota Fielder motor car. The police, they were informed and they commenced investigation. <laughs> by the way, by the way, what color Toyota Fielder motor car did I say? Now, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. How much of you know a sky blue Toyota Fielder? Oh, you know any? You don't know any? That means it is uncommon, not true. So, a message was circulated for all police units in Montego Bay and surrounding areas to be on the lookout for a Toyota Fielder. What color was it again? Oh, you're paying attention. <laughs> so, at minutes after 1 o'clock, Bingo. The St. James Police, acting on intelligence, they conducted an operation along the Unity Hall, Main Road, when a sky blue Toyota Fielder motor car was seen heading towards Hanover. The car, it was intercepted by the police and three men were seen in it. The car was searched and two cartons of cigarette was found in it. The men who were found in the car they were taken into police custody and they will be placed on ID parades. We are learning that the police, they are confident that at least two of the hoodlums that were held in the car, they had gone into the supermarket due to other evidence that we can't disclose now. As soon as these persons are charged, we are going to be telling you who they are. That's why I say, whenever anything like this happens to you, ensure you report it. And congratulations to the Montego Bay Police. Job well done. Now, listen this now. Listen this now. Two men who we are told are relatives. One of them is in his early 30s. He's a taxi driver. And the other one, he's about 20 years old. We are told that he's a Tyler. Both of them are living at the same place at Sammy Bush in Narwood in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Now, there is a hoodlum in the area named Speedy. Sometimes, Speedy, he walk through the guy's yard and they have been telling him to stop walking through the yard. Because Speedy, he's a known hoodlum and these men, they don't want anyone to think that they and Speedy are friends. It is said that Speedy, he's also very, very disrespectful. So yesterday morning, Saturday, August 6th, 2022, about 8 o'clock. The two men, 
they were in their yard when there comes Speedy walking through the yard. The two men, they became upset and they told Speedy, Yo Speedy, you know here we say enough walk through the yard because we and you are no friend. You know what bad man Speedy did? He pulled a 9mm pistol from his waistband and bam 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 shooting the two men. The 20 year old Tyler, he got shot in his right side and his buttocks whilst the taxi driver, he received gunshot wounds to his left leg. Speedy, he then ran off making good his escape. The two men, they were assisted to a nearby hospital where the 20 year old, he was admitted in a serious condition. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Just like that, two men could have lost their lives all because of one hoodlum with a gun. So, bad man Speedy, you are wanted by the police. So, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the like button as yet? If you have not yet hit on the like button, remember to hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell, then click all. So that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, this one took place broad daylight. Yesterday afternoon, Saturday, August 6th, 2022, about 1.30. It took place at a place named Amity in the Betteltown police area in the parish of Westmoreland. So here is what we are learning. A man, his name is Michael Scarlett, but he's popularly known as Alex. Alex, he was 27 years old. Truth be told, Alex is known to be a thief in the community. Alex, it is said that him thief any and everything but we are told that alex he specializes in stealing goats we are told that if you tie up your goat are you bedded and go to sleep when you wake up the goat gone alex thief it persons in the area they were becoming tired of alex and his thiefing ways so yesterday alex went to visit his baby mother and his children he spent some time there and then he left to go to his home. About a minute after Alex left the yard, we are told that loud explosions were heard, sounding like gunshots. Checks were made and there was Alex. He was lying face down along the roadway in a pool of blood. The police, they were informed and when they went to the scene, they saw Alex. He had gunshot wounds to his upper body. He appeared to have died on this spot. When this crime scene was processed, we are told that a number of 0 .40 spent shells were recovered from the scene. We are told that word on the street is that Alex, he stole the wrong person's goats. And that is what led to his demise. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend. About Popeye Newsling and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Crime it a mash 
up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica 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 the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when we turn Country and town man a 